can you imagine a Lucasfilm work, right? production where the the main sorry the male hero is like an old washed up like <laughs> loser who's given up on everything yeah. that he wants to do? They need to find a new archetype. I mean, I cannot emphasize enough how much I despise these writers. This is literally the only thing that pops into the the giant black holes inside their skulls that pass for brains, and they do it every single time. I hate there's them. There's no idea other than, like, miserable old man. I don't get it. Why do they feel like there's no other I, I just, direction I, that they could I, take I, Indiana Jones? I, I just love them to meet some happy old people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a huge call. Go, go on a meet and that. greet, and it's like, yeah, you know what? My life is pretty fulfilled. I'm happy. You know, I've got grandchildren and stuff. Like, I, I really enjoy, like, the time that I've got left. And, you know, I, I think it's good. I've got a lot to live for. Well, at least it's like, no, it doesn't make cool sense. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like they... oh, go for it. That narrative doesn't really make sense. If that because if that's what you're trying to tell, that he's still got a reason to live, and then you've got Kathleen Kennedy going around going, Yeah, Phoebe Waller Bridge can replace him, it's no big deal. <laughs> then you can't have your marketing directly contradicts the story and the plot. You you can tell they, they desperately wanted her to replace him in this one. Like, and I can why? I can see the fingerprints of like the early oh, versions yeah. of this where she was just gonna straight up replace him. And I think they pulled back from that because they knew the reaction. But even then it's like still, you know, she has to be smarter than him. She wins every argument, she's always proven right about everything. She saves she's the day. She saves his life. Oh, yep. Yeah, she's well, she's she... stronger than him. And it's just like, oh fuck off. Fuck off she with is, your fucking women are fucking amazing at everything and men just need to she, move aside and die. She's <laughs> deeply dislikable as well. This is the thing. They didn't even craft a character that you can remotely like. They 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 literally made a character to dislike. Well, part of the problem yeah, I she's think, is she's a horrendous she, character. They they couldn't like I, I said this to you guys before we started, like they could not decide what this character was supposed to be. Like, they couldn't decide if she was going to be uh, a femme fatale or a geeky, like, um, like wannabe fan of Indiana Jones or a con man or an adventurer. A strange or a family geeky. member. Yeah, like, everything. So they tried to combine all these different ideas into one character. And, like, she can't possibly play all these different roles. And, like, well, Phoebe you... Waller-Bridge isn't that fucking good of an actress anyway. So no. she's, like, struggling no matter what. Did you not think it was really out of place when she started eye fucking all the men just randomly? Yeah, it was you know so funny? bizarre. The, the, this um, is like Kathleen Kennedy came on set and she was just like, right, you know, women get ogled all the time on screen. Like we're gonna we're gonna flip the script yeah. on this one. It's like we're gonna have a hot guy go past and she just like looks at him and like, yeah, I'm gonna fuck yeah, they I'm really brave. like it's whatever like, they wow, did the, the her being horny Original. scenes. I had like a distinct feeling of like, wow, they really, really wanted this in there. They really want the scene yeah. where you see her being horny, and you're like, okay. It, it was very, <laughs> it, it was so jarring and out of place. Like the, the 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 sort of comedic element of her boning the son of like some mobster in you know Morocco. Fine, sure. Like it's kind, I mean, it's, it's shit, but it's written in the dialogue, and it's written to. It's part of you know that whole thing. It, it's they did some backstory to it. The other one, I got on the boat when he when she's like, "Oh yeah, promising, yeah, promising, very promising." Like, shut the fuck up. What are do you? Do you know doing? why I take so much issue with that one what too? That? Is uh, the fate of that man that she says looks promising. Yeah, that guy, he just drowns. Uh, he's the first one well, gets his rope cut, and he just falls yep. off the cliff and drowns. And then there is actually a scene right where they've escaped from the bad guys, oh, like in Disparel. Yep. I'm going to put this in context for you, right? They they have chartered a boat that's going to take them out to a shipwreck where they can dive down and retrieve a piece of treasure. And so they've got a bunch of Indiana Jones's old friends that are going to help them out. Um, the bad guys show up, they fucking teleport in, don't know how they find them, they just always show up whenever the plot wants them to. Kill all of the crew, um, but then eventually Phoebe Waller-Bridge and, and Indy manage to escape. And, um, you know, she is laughing and celebrating like, yeah, I'm fucking awesome because I threw a piece of dynamite down a stairwell and it killed a bunch of people. Yay. And he says to her, a, my best friend, just like a good old, a good friend of mine just got murdered and all of his crew just got killed. And there, there's literally two seconds of silence of like, oh, shit, let's let this sink in. And then it's back to joking around and moving forward. It was like it's a like, strange oh. moment of awareness in the film of what had actually happened. It, yeah. It's like, like Harrison Ford, maybe, on set, just said, like, we have to point out the fact that these people just died. Yeah. And like uh, they're like, oh, fine, we'll put it in the movie, whatever. Might, and then guess. it's just like, move straight on beyond it. My guess would be that's the second draft of that scene. Like, it's almost like, like you ad-libbed it. 
Someone it was well, genuinely like he ad libbed it. It's like, fucking insane. That whole crew, they had a whole life, a, a wonderful Antonio business, Bandera Bandera adventure. Well. adventure. <laughs> Indy comes into their lives, they've all just been executed. And it's like, mm -hmm. hmm. Uh, See, imagine what you could do, right, from a character development point of view, if you, say, had her uh, be a young, idealistic, wannabe adventurer, and she's wanting to go out on all these crazy like adventures and stuff, and this happens, and she gets to see the the, the awful dark side of all this shit. Of like people fucking die doing this stuff. You know, people that like put their trust in you, that you're friends with and stuff, they can just get killed because they know you and you're doing something that you shouldn't be. That how what a sobering moment that might be for a character. How that how that might cause them to reflect upon like the choices they made and whether they want to be even be involved in this world. That could be like an interesting thing you could play with. There's a lot of fertile ground there. Instead, nah, just don't think about it too much. Move on to the next fucking stupid thing and clack like a mindless seal. Well, the I problem is, I thought this movie is either. all, all like the way. simultaneously naive and cynical at the same time, like simultaneously world weary and also aloof as to the that's things what that I, That's what I mean. They don't know what this character is supposed to be. She's no, trying she... to be like a bit of everything. Is it that, or is it that if you, if you think that the writers can't actually put themselves in somebody else's perspective, right? So what you've <laughs> just done involves you like being as if you're in the movie. But if you write a character as if, as if you're yourself, it takes on your personality, and it, all these characters are absolutely horrible people. You had Galadriel, you had Kit from Willow. Uh, f the uh, main woman from Fubar is literally the worst character I've ever seen in anything. She's absolutely <laughs> repulsive. Um, but in this situation, if you put yourself in that perspective yourself, you know that this isn't real. So those people that died, yeah, they're only imaginary, so I don't care about them, so they can't write a character that cares about them. Um, and, well, it takes on their entire personality and everything, would allow you to have a horrible personality because it's you, but also not care about any of the events that happen. So you come across as about not caring about the world when it's just like, well, it's just fantasy, I don't mind. It's kind of no, an interesting it, point there. Oh, it's, sorry, that, go for it. Well, as you say, it's, that's, no, it's absolutely not true because they write Indiana Jones like he does give a shit. Like his colleagues die and you can see touching moments where he walks up to their dead bodies. It's simply because Lucasfilm cannot and will never write a woman that has to go through a character arc. Yep. They don't. They do will because not do it. They don't the, do it ever. The, the, but if she wanted a way character arc, wouldn't she care about somebody? As part well, the, of this is what you could have done, right? You could have even I mean. had her start they, as like a selfish a like arc. you could have had her start out as a selfish mercenary type who's just out for herself and gradually she learns the value of self sacrifice and caring about other people and stuff and she maybe ultimately is willing to risk her life for other people. That's a character arc. You could have had her start out as like a bookish nerd who's uh, just like enamored with the idea of going on adventures and stuff and learns the darker side of it, but ultimately steps up and becomes like a more heroic character through adversity. Again, that's a character arc. Instead, they mash together all these fucking conflicting ideas. And none of them actually work together. And you've just got this weird patchwork quilt of a character who doesn't really have any defined personality. She's a different person in every scene. I think the writers, if you ask them, would say, yeah, no, the arc that she did go on was that she was self-serving, and then she realized that there are things more important than money. I think that they would tell you that, yeah, that's the arc that the, she went on. What are you talking about? They would try and tell you that, but like, it doesn't it doesn't work with the character the I way totally she's agree. presented. Yeah, I, I, think, um, was... I think a big problem with her is, like, she's the biggest source, I would say, of, like, the tonal dissonance, and part of it feels like mm. she's always performing for the audience and not, like, a character who exists in this world and in this story. Yeah. Even those she smiles to herself. Yeah, even those smiles is very performative, you know? Like, but that's, that's down to bad direction as well. Yeah. Like, when, when she walks to see Indiana, like, a smirk on her face. You're like, wipe that smile off your face. You was doing? it just me? Or is it nuts that she tells her story about how when the, the kid was younger or whatever, that he tried to pickpocket her and then they eventually started working together? I was like, oh, so literally the short round history. That's like one to one. And nobody, yeah. he doesn't mention that at all. It doesn't come up. I was like, hello? It's the Moroccan short <laughs> round. Yeah. It, it, like, you yeah. just snatched the history. Why, why did I thought for a second there that they were obviously doing it to like set up Indy to be like, ah, oh, I used to know a kid like that. And then have a throwaway line about how well he's doing or how he's suicidal as well. Fuck it. But I, I was very confused as to why they just <laughs> copy and paste in that history. He has killed himself. <laughs> because I, I think, it, the, yeah. I think at this point, that's what Lucasfilm is. It's just like, yeah, well, remember that thing that we did, like, you know, 30 years ago? Well, yeah, we're doing it again, but, like, we're doing it better now. So you just like it the same way you like that old thing. Transfer but the traits instantly onto the new thing without doing any of the legwork to, like, make people like those characters like Short Round.
That's exactly it. Who was That's way exactly better what than Phoebe Waller Bridge? He though. should have been the successor. He should have been if they were going to do nice. the whole story of him well, being a successor to Indiana Pe Jones. It should have been short round. Yep. People have pointed this out. It's like that that actor has had a real resurgence, like yep. in recent years. It's like bring him in. Imagine the chemistry between those two. Imagine what you could have done with them.